Well, our first signing this summer has been officially confirmed by Manchester United themselves, Victor Lindelof, for £30 million, apparently, subject to a medical, which he will undertake on Wednesday after uh, Sweden's final game uh, on the Tuesday. And yeah, I'm honestly delighted. I haven't seen much of the guy, no, but... I trust Mourinho, like especially with a centre-back. He knows how to pick out what he wants in a centre-back. He did it for Chelsea with Kurt Zouma. I know he's not playing a lot now, but in his first season under Mourinho, he was terrific. He did it with Rafael Varane for uh, Real Madrid. I'm sure there's other examples. And, of course, he's already done it with Manchester United with Eric Bailly. So, I trust his judgment. And you know what? He's young. I think he's 22 by he's 23, he was 22 when he signed, so if we can get them as a very, very strong partnership together, if they can work, then that can be another partnership for like 5, 10 years, who knows, could be another Vidic in Rio Ferdinand, yes, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm excited, I really am, and uh, that's the first deal already done, the transfer window officially opened yesterday, I know I said I'd be doing daily videos, and I will be doing them now, but I was waiting for the transfer window to actually open, um, of course, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has departed Manchester United, and it, it's a bit of a shame. He would definitely have been here should it have been, uh, sorry, if he was not injured, which is a little bit, well, it's not a little bit. It's really, really gutting that he is leaving, although he might not be. In January, uh, when his injury should be over, he should be all uh, completely fine by then. We'll see what happens. It also depends who we sign, but uh, of course he's continuing his rehabilitation in Manchester. So there's a possibility that he, he will be offered a contract if he proves his fitness and everything after this injury. But we'll see. If not, then I thank him for the 46 appearances, the 28 goals, the 8 assists, the goal in the League Cup, the goal in the Community Shield, the goals helping us on the way to the Europa League. And um, yeah, I wish him well in the future. And, of course, there's strong rumours that our second signing will be Alvaro Morata from Real Madrid. Again, I, I watch Real Madrid now and again. Uh, generally, I only watch Manchester United, like, every single game. I'll watch big games. I'll watch the occasional other game if there's nothing else on. But, on the whole, it's Manchester United that I watch, of course. So, I don't watch a lot of other clubs. So, I just take opinions from other people. But... Uh, Mourinho did sign him originally for Real Madrid, so he knows the player, uh, he knows his qualities, and if he thinks he's going to fit again, it's all about trusting the manager, whether you trust him. Mourinho signed us four players last season, and every single one of them played their part in some degree, and every single one of them will continue to improve. Well, with the exception of Ibrahimovic, but that's because of his age and because of... Uh, the injury, but, you, you know, obviously he was a huge success last season, but yeah, they were, uh, of Mkhitaryan, Pogba, and by they'll progressively get better for us, and they did things for us that uh, it culminated in us winning the Europa League and the League Cup. Of course, the league was a bit disappointing, but they, they'll they'll get better is what I'm saying, so I trust his judgment with signings 100%, so if he wants Morata, perfectly happy with that. Uh, I saw his goal for Spain, obviously, the latest one that he had, that uh, header, was really, really nice. I think that was to get a draw against Colombia. Um, there's rumours that we're also continuing negotiations with uh, Bellotti, who, of course, has had a ridiculously good season for Torino. It's one season, but in this day and age, like the players' prices are ludicrous for a one-season uh, wonder. Look at uh, Kylian Mbappe. I know he's uh, 18. But the fee talked about for him is over 100 million potentially. So, yeah, it's just the way modern football is now. The, the talks are that the Morata deal has been done for 70 million euros and he should be having a medical next week. Um, that hasn't been officially confirmed. As for Belotti, around about the same fee. I think he has an 80 million release close or 75 million pounds release close. But we might be able to close the deal for somewhere around 60 to 70. I don't know. We'll see. That might not happen if Morata comes in, but the chances are Rooney's going to leave, or if he stays, he's just not going to be used. He'll be like a backup at best. Ibra has obviously left for at least the first seven months, so we definitely need players in there. We've got Rashford, we've got Martial, but to to compete on four fronts next season, which is what we're going to want to do, you, you're going to need quality in abundance. You look at Real Madrid, they didn't even have James Rodriguez in their final 18 in the Champions League final. They had players like Asensio on the bench, um, off the top of my head 
I'm completely fucking up. But you know what I mean? They've got so many amazing players. They have Morata on the bench. And, um, yeah, that's that. And then the other two signings that we're apparently really keen on, we've made bids for Perisic already. We made a second bid that's been rejected. Uh, apparently, the asking fee is £44 million. But we'll probably be able to get it around 30 to £35 million. Um, the reason is because Inter need to pay, I think it's €30 million Euros to stay within FFP regulations and they need to do that by June the 30th. They can stump up the cash by selling players like Brozovic and Ranocchia, but if they can't do it by June the 30th, I'm sure that deal will come through for us. Again, it's a player that Mourinho really wants. Uh, and the final player on the shortlist, the supposed shortlist that Mourinho's got for now is uh, Fabinho. And uh, that is a player that I really want from Monaco. Of course, they're getting a lot of bids for a lot of their players, so that might take a little bit longer. They've already sold Bernardo Silva to Manchester City. There's rumours of uh, Bakayoko off to Chelsea uh, and Bappe potentially going to Real Madrid. A lot of their players are getting rightly sought after, so we'll see how it goes. But Mourinho apparently wants all his signings done by the time our pre-season tour starts in July. Uh, he wants all the players on the plane for that. We did that last year. I think the only one that we didn't have was uh, Pogba, but that was because of the fee and because of all the, the stuff that went with that. But we even got him done very, very well before the end of the season anyway. Uh, I remember uh, I was at the Community Shield game at Wembley and it was announced on that day that we'd agreed a deal to sign Paul Pogba. So he was here uh, for the first game of the season, but of course he had the ban, so he couldn't play until the next game. But it looks as though our transfers are going to be done and dusted very quickly like they were last season. So I'm delighted. Victor Lindelof, welcome to Manchester United. And I will be bringing you daily videos, not just of Manchester United targets, but of other transfers that have both been confirmed and that are rumours starting from today. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.